It's the start of a key week in Washington, D.C. The Senate, as we mentioned, is preparing for the second impeachment trial of now former President Donald Trump, which begins tomorrow. What can we expect? Marie Shepard is a political science instructor at Madison College. Marie joins us now. Welcome back to Live at Four. Hi, Marie. It's good to see you. Good to see you. So some Republicans are saying that this is unconstitutional to impeach a president after the auto office. What do you think? Uh, well, it's it's constitutional, but this is novel. It, it has never been tried before. Uh, for well, a couple of things are novel. One, that um, uh, former President Trump is the only president now to be impeached twice, and that's important to, to note because uh, he he has been impeached uh, again in the House of Representatives. Now we move to the second phase, which is uh, the Senate impeachment trial, um, and this is novel again. It hasn't happened before. Uh, there's nothing in the Constitution that prohibits it, but because it's new, some people are skeptical. A two-thirds majority would be needed uh, in order to reach a conviction, and that means that 17 Republicans would have to side with Democrats to make that happen. How high a hurdle do you think that is? It's a very high hurdle. It's, it's the probability of it occurring is um, it's very high. Um, Rand Paul, the senator from Kentucky, uh, earlier uh, asked for a procedural vote um, just to ask the members of, of, of the Senate um, how many thought, again, uh, having a Senate impeachment trial of an ex-president, um, if, that, if that is actually constitutional. Uh, 45 indicated that it was not constitutional. They did not believe it was constitutional. Um, so that gives a strong indication that uh, it's probably not that the um, they will not receive the two thirds uh, once again uh, vote to reach that threshold to actually convict um, former President Trump. There were no witnesses at his first trial, and some Democrats are pushing for witnesses in this trial. How important is that? Uh, this this trial is very uh, it, it's different from the first trial. Um, uh, for the first impeachment trial of, of, of now ex-President Trump, uh, one, he was president, now he is not president. Uh, and also, the presiding uh, official uh, will not be the Chief Justice, it will instead be um, the President Pro Tem of the Senate. Uh, and also, this is on the fast track. Uh, unlike the very first uh, impeachment uh, trial, um, there are a number of witnesses, there are many committee meetings prior to uh, not only, once again, the formal impeachment vote in the House, but also the Senate uh, impeachment trial. That did not happen. Um, uh, this is, I think, on the fast track. Uh, I think the, the earlier, uh, the first impeachment trial lasted about two weeks or so. Um, I think this one may go uh, half that time. Do you think the former president will testify? No, he will not. He will not, no. Um, it will not happen. <laughs> that's, that's a nice short answer. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. yeah. We are out of time. That comes at the right time. It's going to be an interesting couple of weeks in Washington, that's for sure. Maurice, we'll all be watching. Thanks for being with us today. Thank Good you to see you, Maurice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care.